obviously, uh, you look on social media, you think, you know, how life is perfect. You see, okay, you know, from the outside looking in, you think people are health, perfectly, healthily fine. And in the case of myself too, subhanAllah, I would like to open a personal story because it's a story I don't really talk about. I feel like, you know, we live in a day and age, I feel, you know, looking like the strong man, the big man, like you said, it looks good, you know, on paper. So subhanAllah, what, what happened to me too, I'll, I'll, I'll open up, inshallah, I feel like it will benefit all you guys, even as you, it will benefit you too. <laughs> Basically, subhanAllah, uh, graduated high school in 2017, you guys were like 2018 class, right? So, subhanAllah, life was good after that, man. Basically, I started college, alhamdulillah. That was also good, you know, doing college for two years. But in my second year, something happened, like, kind of changed my life, subhanAllah. Uh, I was yanni, my body, I, I was noticing my body, like, you know, as Brother Zayn knows, you know, he was telling me, but, uh, you know, with these videos, with work, with studies, you're pushing your body to its limits. And yanni, your body is a creation of Allah, I mean, it's gonna, a time will come, it's not gonna hold it, right? I mean, and uh, I was just doing, I was going by life like that, pushing myself, pushing myself, you know, thinking about other people so much, but yet sometimes you forget about your own self, yeah. And uh, you know, you notice your, my body, my mom was used to tell me, she said, you're getting skinny, what's happening? It looks like you're dying, you know? Probably just said, mothers, you know how they say, you know, subhanAllah. But what happened is that I started to drink abnormally amounts of water. So, you know, I used to wake up in the middle of the night, just drink a bottle of water, bro, what the hell's going on? You know, I'm looking at myself, I'm like, you know, I'm not human, but I'm like, subhanAllah, probably, you know, I'm just thirsty nowadays. This is a week. A month, I'm with my friends, Shahnur knows, Shahnur was with me actually. He's like, Yo, are you okay man, you're drinking so much, uh, you know, I'm in the store, I'm just drinking drink after drink, we're going for refills. No matter how much water or no matter how much juice I'm drinking, there's this no ending thirst. My mouth keeps getting dry. I'm like dying, subhanAllah. It's like, I feel like I'm dying. My esophagus, you know the thing is, it's the name from Allah, that we have saliva. When we drink, so what happens is, it, it gets all moist inside, right? So yeah, I'm having this dry feeling. I can feel it from here to my neck. It's dry, dry. It's just like suffocating. It's like, you know, it's kind of like closing. Like, you know, I, I thought I was dying, bro. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm talking to my sister. I'm, I'm telling her my symptoms. I said, it's fine. She said, she said, go to the hospital. She said, no, you go to the hospital. Serious. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll go to the hospital. So you know, yeah, I mean, we as men, we have egos. We don't want to be told things what to do. Sit here, do this, go there. We don't like that. I mean, it's a man. As a man, you won't like that if someone tells you to go sit there. Yeah? So I went there to the hospital, Yanni, I'm like, oh man, I see patients. And then, and then she's like, yeah, what's going on? What's your pain level like? And I was at the time I was drained out, so I just told her 10. My mom told me, she said, tell 10, they'll, do, they'll hurry up things, you know? So I'm like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll, do, I'll tell her 10. Took my information and everything, she's like, what? Uh, what's going on? She, she measured my heart and everything, you know, you look, you're fine and everything. Measured my blood, they, they measured my blood, they took a blood, said, oh, what the hell's going on? Your sugar level is over 44. I'm like, okay. Is that bad? Is that good? She said, what do you mean that's bad? You're almost gonna How the hell you walked here? I'm like, I don't know, I just... I, 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 then they called up the, the, the stretcher, they took me in, detoxed my whole system, yeah, yeah. For like a, two hours, I was, I was there alone. Nobody there. I mean, my sister just dropped me, subhanAllah. And uh, I'm there just alone, sitting and looking up in the, you know, looking at the sky. You have nobody but life with you, you know? You're just alone in the hospital. Uh, they're doing tests and then the lady comes up to me, the nurse, she's like, you know what happened, young man? You got diabetes. Type 1 diabetes. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm 20. And she's like, you got it. You deal with it. And my, those three days I was in the hospital, bro, I had, I had this hard time accepting the fact that I had diabetes. I couldn't fathom. I'm like, how can we? I got it, man. I played basketball growing up. I took care of my body, man. You know, my guys come to my games, watch me play. You know, getting smacked by the way. But like, but like <laughs> subhanAllah, you know, taking care of your body. I, like, I was the type of guy, you know, I, I watched what I ate and I, I took care, you know, subhanAllah. But like, obviously, she's, a, you know, you're gonna have to change your life. You're gonna have to use insulin. You're gonna have to measure your blood. You're gonna have to prick your fingers three times a day. You're gonna have to eat this, carbs, become to sugars when they go in your body, explaining you the whole thing. And well, the thing is, you can't accept. It's, a, it's something that, you know, you, I, I had this enraging anger, subhanAllah, in me when I was in there. But subhanAllah, as they, as they you know, obviously the three day rest, they put me in a room beside a man. And that man was a NASCAR driver, subhanAllah. And this guy, it's like, it put me everything. I'm like, you know, everything flew out of my mind. You know what happened? Basically, I seen him, and I'm like, this guy, you know I mean? he can't even speak. I'm like, what's going on? So, you know, one day, you know, I mean, they put me in one of the cheap rooms. They didn't rape me, man. So, so you know, I, I'm like, you know what's this guy saying? So, I, I lift up the curtain because it's a curtain barrier only. And I look at this guy, this guy's like, you know, he can't even speak because he, he broke his spinal cord, you know? So I was like, I'm looking at him, I'm like, nurses come, he's, like, he's kind of crying that he has to go to the bathroom. 
And this is going to come in a tray. They get a tray just for him to, go, to use, to do his number one, number two, subhanAllah, that we take for granted every time we go to the bathroom. This guy has to do it on a tray. The nurses, three, four, coming up, lifting him. You know, that is a, the sense of independency, the sense of, you know, how we feel like, ah, nah, I'm going to the bathroom, man, it's another day, another dollar, I got my phone on. You know, that, that's what we, you know. But subhanAllah, this guy, I was, like, I was like, man, this guy can't speak. And then I'm looking at myself, I'm like, yo, okay, she's telling me to go do a urine sample, yeah? At least I can go my own power. Yeah, and if someone looks at me, I don't look like, you know, this guy got something fruity, you know, he's like, or, you know, he's sick or something. Alhamdulillah, it's always a blessing, you know? You have to go through these things in life. That's what my, my whole point is. You're gonna go through ups and downs. I'm like, look at Brother Ali bin Allah, Allah tested him with cancer. You're gonna go through these, these things. Don't, don't think like, like Brother said, Kevin, that your life is gonna be all smooth, you know, everything. Wallahi, you're gonna get the trials, man. If you persistent on this path, Allah says, do the people think that they say they believe and they, they think they're not gonna be tested? Verily, we're gonna test, we tested each one before them, and they will be tested too. So we all gonna be tested. I'm not trying to scare y'all, but when you persist on the path of the Islam, and you say, hey, you know, your friends come up to you, hey man, you know, today we got a party, we're gonna have some girls, bro, we're gonna do our thing. And you say, yeah, okay, you know, uh, the thing is, man, uh, I'm not about that life. The first thing they're gonna have is, what the hell's going on? He's going you're backwards, you know, you know, lost it, oh, what the hell's going on with you, you zook, bro, you know, all that stuff. So they start saying that stuff, you know? Because the thing is, this is something abnormal. And you look at the prophets, the moon, uh, yeah, Salih, alayhi salam. Yeah, yeah, Salih, what's going on? What's going on? What are you preaching? Because Salih alayhi salam, Hud alayhi salam, they were amongst their people. They grew up within the people. The people seen them growing up. They're like, Ya Salih, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? What are you, what's coming up? What are you, Allah was telling Salih alayhi salam, go warn your people. Time came, action came. People start rejecting, they start mocking. Like you said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he said, that, would you believe me? If there's an army coming back, he's like, yes, we will give you. You are Salih alayhi salam. He's like, well, I am the messenger of Allah. And I am here to give you a warning. And I'm glad tidings that you know if you believe this is gonna happen. Like, you know what, what happened? Abu Lahab started rejecting. You see, you see, you see all of this, and you, you have to understand that a mu'min's life will always be tested. You look at the Sahabas. Some of the Sahabas were in war, lost their hands, their eyes, defending the Prophet of God, defending him in battle, just so a thorn couldn't prick him. One of the Sahabis has a beautiful statement. He's like, uh, you know, they're like, some guy came up to him and said, what, what are you doing defending this Prophet? You can harm yourself. You say, you didn't understand? I, I'd rather sacrifice my life than a thorn to prick the Prophet A thorn, a thorn, nothing, that's nothing, bro. I'll give my life. That's how I believe in him to be the truthful Prophet of God. You know, so subhanAllah, we have to believe, have that firm yaqeen, man, because you're gonna be tested through life. Once you say no to Betty, Barbara, Karina, and all them girls, they get, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be different. But this is the test that you're going through. You're gonna get tested. You know, they're gonna mock, they're gonna laugh, question, outcast you, say that you're lost it. But that, that, that's the part that you grow and you go to places that you've never been. Well, why I'm telling you. And I've seen it in my own life in high school, dropping the big group of brothers that I had. What came after that? Things, not a lot of good things. A lot of hate came, a lot of name calling came. But we persisted, you know, we made a change and we're gonna be firm on it. We're not going back. And that, that, that takes you growth. You go to places. You, you know, you sit around with people that you never sat around with. But that will only happen when you make that sacrifice, man. So I'm telling you anything, my whole bottom line is, guys, you, all, of, all of us, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but we're all going to be tested. We're all going to be tested, whether it's with the, even with the good or the bad. I'm not saying, you know, your test might be different than mine's. Mine's may be this, your test may be, you know, something Allah gives you. Allah gives you a business, Allah gives you a store, now you're an owner. And now as an owner, you have to pay your employees, you know. So Allah might give you different tests, right? But for me, this is what I want to tell you. This is a lifelong disease I'm dealing with. And Alhamdulillah, I've taken this as a blessing from Allah. No one can understand your pain. Only Allah knows your pain. You get up in the morning and you go for fetching. You're not like those five guys up there in the road. You're different because there's a struggle behind your, your, your reach. Allah, Allah, so one of the names of Allah is the most appreciative. You know, I, you, know, you give me five bucks right now, I'll, I'll, I'll say thank you. I'll say thank you, my brother. I love you. Tomorrow comes, I'll forget. You know, you may hit my car, I may charge you. I'm not gonna remember the five dollars you gave me. I'll forget, I will it then. You know, Allah is the most appreciated, so we may do something for the sake of God, God will never forget. The day of the day, inshallah, we'll see that. Okay, so, assalamu alaikum. Uh, this one, I, I think it might have been a little too long. Now we got Brother Tariq, inshallah, coming up. Uh, assalamu alaikum, guys.